Although the Migos rappers don't share a mansion like they used to, their success has afforded them some nice real estate. Quavo offset and take off all hail from Georgia and they still call the state home to this day. You guys have been requesting this house tour so today we'll be taking a look at the properties of Migos from what takeouts invested in. Quavo offset and take off all hail from Georgia and they still call the state home to this day. You guys have been requesting this house tour so today we'll be taking a look at the properties of Migos from what takeoffs invested in to Quavo's multiple homes and even the gorgeous mansion offset shares with Cardi B. Migos is a rap trio that's considered one of the most celebrated hip hop groups of our time. Made up of Quavo, Takeoff, and Offset, these three are actually related. Interestingly enough, Quavo is Takeoff's uncle and Offset and Quavo are cousins. Sounds like a family affair. Originally from Lawrenceville, Georgia, the trio formed in 2008 and have become known for representing Georgia's capital, Atlanta, which is said to be the home of trap music. They've had plenty singles to top the charts over the years and are even releasing new stuff while we're in quarantine. I'm not really sure if the three are hanging out during this global pandemic, but they managed to release a hit song. As a group, Migos has a collective estimated net worth of 80 million, and I'm not exactly sure how that's been divided, but they're definitely sharing the wealth. It's not that Takeoff has a net worth of 16 million, Offset also has 16 million, while Quavo's estimated net worth is slightly higher at 26 million. Either way, the trio has found a lot of fame and fortune for themselves over the years, and now we get to take a look at how they're living. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where the boys of Migos call home, including the Buckhead Mansion Offset is raising his family in, Quavo's multiple Georgia properties, Takeoff's house, and more. I would argue that Offset and Cardi B have the nicest mansion of them all, but you guys be the judge and tell me what you think after this. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of 6 9 and Travis Scott, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> I'll start with one of the busiest members of Migos, Quavo. Because since their career took off, he really kept busy with purchasing several properties in Georgia, not only for himself, but for family members too. It's estimated he spent a few million dollars on homes within a three year timeline. Back in 2017, Quavo made his first purchase of a mansion in Alpharetta, Georgia. Although it was listed for sale at over 2 million, he talked the price down to 1.88 mil or so. This custom mansion was built in 1992, but it has been restored and newly constructed since. It's located in the family fancy country club of the south, sitting on more than two acres of sprawling land in the private, upscale neighborhood of Johns Creek. Of course, Quavo has plenty of privacy on this lot, it also leads to a nearby resort. His massive Alpharetta home spanned 11,000 square feet of living space spread over multiple levels with six beds and 6.5 baths. Even walking up to the front door, the house has a royal look with large pillars and huge front porch. According to the previous listing, the front door here is 600 pounds of 10 foot iron. Sounds impressive. Once you get past the heavy door, there's a curved staircase with views to the upper level, large chandelier in the entryway, double height ceilings, and a couple of rooms at the front. Then at the back of the house, there's the great room with floor to ceiling windows, a fireplace, and so much space it looks like the size of three living rooms put together. Also on the main floor, there are more common spaces like the den, family room, dining area, and marble and stainless steel kitchen. Other features of Quavo's home include a wine cellar, media room, fitness and games room, and a terrace level with kitchen which looks like it could be its own finished apartment. Key here you'll also find a sauna and bar. Not to mention his oversized master suite here includes one of the nicest and biggest attached bathrooms I've ever seen, and what the listing calls a dual custom built-in walk-in closet. At the rear of the mansion, there's another large covered patio area perfect for entertaining and relaxing in the shade. There's a dark wooded ceiling with skylights, exposed brick wall, and outdoor fireplace. Also at the back of the mansion, we can see the one tower of the home that's completely floor to ceiling windows on all levels. The backyard also offers a curved pool and elevated spa surrounded by stone terrace complete with a waterfall. Quavo's large property is made secure with a wooded area and tall trees all around providing extra privacy. Although this mansion is impressive, it wasn't the only home Quavo bought. Aside from the home, he went half on to buy his mama, which I'll show you guys a little later. He also purchased a third property in Lawrenceville, Georgia. This one is much more modest and only set him back a mere 140k, but it's reported his sister and other family members have moved in. This house spans 1,712 square feet and has three beds and two baths. 
Last year, Quavo revealed he bought back the home he spent his early days in with his family, where Migos recorded Versace in. I'm not sure if this was a Lawrenceville home I just mentioned, or a separate place, but either way, he explained why, saying, Same house we made Versace in, I bought it, and right now I'm gutting it all out and trying to renovate it for my mom, so she could be the landlord and no more taking shit from our landlord. Uh, on that note, another thing you're doing in Atlanta, um, you're, you're buying back the house that you grew up in, right? Oh yeah, for sure. The same house we made for Sachi in. Um, I bought it and I'm trying to, right now, I'm gutting it all out and trying to renovate it for my mom too, so she can be the landlord and I'm going to take a shit for my landlord. <laughs> uh, we got another one here. Uh, what shaped you into being the man you are today and who were your greatest influences? What shaped you into being the man you are today and who were your greatest influences? Um, my mom was my greatest influence. I just wanted to make her happy. And she she didn't really like put too many addresses on what I needed to do. She just let me just go out there and see for myself. So I really respect her for that. So I always just didn't want to disappoint her when I was out by myself knowing she wasn't watching me. Just like Quavo got himself a luxury home in Georgia, so did Offset. We know the rapper used to have his own Atlanta mansion before he got serious with Cardi B, but since they're building a family, it was time for a fresh start. Since Offset wanted to stay in Atlanta, that's where the couple found their dream home and they moved in over the 2019 holidays after searching for a place for over two years. Get a house for two years and we never see eye, we never see eye to eye, but let me... Let me get the phone happy. Let me show them the angle. What up, Peaches? Offset's Mansion is located just north of Buckhead, Atlanta, near Chastain Park in Sandy Springs. The neighborhood is super exclusive, private, and definitely fit for a high-profile couple like them. On the listing, the home was for sale at $5.79 million, but we don't know what Offset and Cardi actually paid for the place. It spans 22,500 square feet of living space, sitting on six massive acres of private land and built back in 2006. The home looks nothing short of a palace and offers five beds, seven baths, four half baths, and beautiful landscaping and gardens surrounding it. Walking into the colossal three-story mansion, you'll find the front foyer with soaring ceilings, oversized chandeliers, and a sweeping spiral staircase. There are also large Corinthian columns throughout the main area of the home, and the open concept living room is done double height with floor to ceiling windows and balconies from the upper floor overlooking the space. The main floor of Offset's mega mansion has multiple common rooms that flow into one another from family rooms, dining areas and of course a huge kitchen with another chandelier. Not to mention the classy wood paneled office or library. Offset's master suite he and Cardi share is absolutely huge with a separate seating room complete with a fireplace and more than one walk-in closet. Their master bath has a freestanding tub with views to the yard and glass enclosed shower. Upstairs, there are more bedrooms and from the videos Cardi posted when they moved in, there's a huge area connected with a walkway that she said was gonna be the kids' playroom. Downstairs, there's a massive basement that Offset said would be his man cave. Only one area here was apparently for Cardi, which she plans to turn into a beauty room to get ready and have her hair and makeup done. Other crazy features of Offset's Atlanta mansion include a six car garage, which has room for all of his fancy cars, an 1800 bottle wine cellar, and even a gun range decked out with steel walls. Outside on the grounds of his mansion, there's an infinity pool, large terrace, columned courtyard, and more areas for entertaining. So we looked at both Quavo and Offset's Atlanta mansions, but what about Takeoff? Although I couldn't find exactly where he lives, we do know all three members of Migos live in Atlanta, Georgia. If you know what Takeoff's current home looks like, let me know in those comments, because I'm curious. We do know that he's spent some of his fortune on a property for the Migos family matriarch, Mama Honcho. He went halves on this with Quavo. Family is pretty tight, so a few years back in the spirit of giving, the boys wanted to treat Quavo's mom, aka Mama, for Christmas. They got her a large home in Georgia wrapped in a red bow and posted it on Instagram, captioning the pic from Huncho and Takeoff, Merry Christmas Mama Huncho, love you, enjoy your new home. Mama's house is located in Roswell, Georgia, an area in North Fulton County. It's considered a suburb of Atlanta with an affluent historic district. Despite the house being listed for sale at 600 k the boys were able to knock off 60000 from the price by negotiating. The house is located in River Falls, a premier gated community in Roswell, so it offers their mama a ton of privacy. It's constructed in all bricks, spanning over 4,000 square feet with 5 bedrooms and 5.5 baths. 
There's a curved two-level foyer, formal dining room, spacious kitchen with breakfast bar, and living room with floor-to-ceiling windows and fireplace. Mama also gets to have her own classy master bedroom with fireplace and attached marble bathroom according to the listing. Other features of the home that take off in Quavo Mama include a custom terrace level with complete guest suite, games room, a fully screened porch, and spacious deck with beautiful private wooded views. All right, so that's all I got on the mansions of Amigos Rappers, and it looks like they're living a pretty luxurious life in their native state of Georgia. Although I couldn't find what Takeoff's house looks like, if it's anything like the other two members, it's hella fancy. I know I said that Offset and Cardi's mansion was the nicest of all, but Quavo's place in Alpharetta gives it a run for its money. Offset's place is definitely bigger and fancier, but I almost like Quavo's place better because of the covered patios and how spacious the rooms inside the home are. It's hard to choose. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about the Migos homes. Which one was your fave that we looked at? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me over on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!